so it's hat's bat system here um so six hours and 11 art pages later um we have discovered and communicated with and talked to uh and found out who the altar is that has been waking up and associating a whole lot and trying to figure out what's going on and freaking out on the inner world and stuff that it's been affecting us for probably a good couple of weeks now uh We also found out that Dr. Maybe's cottage is where dormant altars are. Castle. Dr. Maybe's castle. Did I say cottage? I don't know what I said. Dormant altars are in Dr. Maybe's castle. Dr. Maybe's cottage is where active or awakened altars are uh so back to the altar that did recently come awakened uh his name goes by he and they we all go by they but he pronouns um he can age slide but the lo he stops at 10 years he doesn't go below that um and then he can age slide up to the the body's age or really whatever altar he is with he goes to that age um so he is our finance strategist i must say um works closely with samantha stephanie carly unicorn jack and pizza arm is tired from holding the phone up also Rika uh, we made buddies he worked with Sky Lafay on the inner world so he has a lot of her attributes as far as like the uh, the calming and feeling balanced and grounded comes from um he is also a manifesto so like whenever we do our spells and put our intentions on things and things like that like it will go through him like the ideas will go through him and then him and his team finalize it and then whatever we all final finalized on and made a decision on with him ultimately what he and they decide um is what comes out as the final product basically what we put out into the universe like what other people would see so part of our communication system also he is sound like Yoda right there yeah oh um he is a trauma holder he holds sleep trauma for the rest of the system and therefore he came to be emerged and everything all, all of that at 10 years old he went through so like um that would be stop whining all right come on sit zero wants to be up here so bad so because he stops at 10 years of age that means that all of the trauma that we had that the body let's say his did 
not being able to form that singlet. <laughs> Can you stop taking the shot? Like, whenever the parts are all being made of, of forming because of the trauma and what we go through and how all of that works at the beginning when you're creating your inner world and you're a child and, you know, all of you come into being all these things. Um, so, yeah, the trauma of the sleep from the, the dreams of the altars. Like, we met altars in our dreams growing up all the time apparently according to Nick's and his trauma holdings um so the body being Lex Lex went through that and at 10 years of age Nick's Nick's popped out and said you know what y'all been all dealing with all of this and you all have trauma in your own ways of holding I'm gonna take it off of your hands and I'm gonna take that that sleep trauma, that nightmare trauma, the dream trauma, whether it was positive or negative, like, it didn't matter, it was traumatic to somebody. Um, so he holds all of that. So that's good to know. That altar awakening took six hours to get to dissociate that long, figure that out, or work and communicate, or something after weeks of still trying to communicate and deal with everyday life. So...